For a long time, masks have been a required accessory for superheroes or people just trying to get into an eyes wide shut orgy. By the way, the secret password is, I'm here for the orgy one. Now, when the coronavirus pandemic began, the CDC said people didn't need to wear masks unless they were showing symptoms. But a couple of weeks ago, they changed their mind after realizing that if everyone wore masks in public, it could stop people from spreading the disease. Also, they ran a series of tests and realized that, damn, people are ugly. Now, this all seems reasonable enough, right? Everyone just needs to wear a mask when you're gonna be outside around other people. But apparently, it's the furthest thing from simple. In the city of Stillwater, Oklahoma, an emergency proclamation requiring the use of face masks in stores and restaurants was amended after reports employees were being verbally abused and threatened with violence for trying to enforce the order. In Miami Beach, one park is now shut down after police issued more than 7,000 warnings over the weekend to people not wearing face masks. In Michigan, a security guard was shot after a dispute with a customer over a face mask. Police are also looking for this man who wiped his nose on a clerk's shirt when he was asked why he wasn't wearing a face covering. Whoa! Why are people so angry? Forget a vaccine. Scientists need to start working on a chill pill. Health officials are asking for us to cover our faces to protect ourselves, and everyone's acting like they have to get spayed and neutered. And the people who don't wear masks are ruining it for everyone. Like now, they had to close down that entire park in Miami. And Miami, you know I love you. But what are you doing? Getting mad about being asked to cover your face? I've been to Miami. Nobody's looking at anybody's faces. But if we know that masks can help save lives and stop the spread of coronavirus, why are so many people refusing to wear masks when they go out in public? Well, one reason is that just honestly, they're not super comfortable. And one woman in Kentucky found a solution that totally didn't work. A Kentucky woman is going viral for the way she wears a mask. This woman was caught on camera shopping with a hole cut in the middle of her protective mask. She claims it made it, quote, easier to breathe since everyone is required to wear a mask while out. Of course, the CDC is advising that masks should cover both the nose and mouth completely. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest. I get where this woman is coming from. Wearing a mask can make it a little harder to breathe, but you know what can make it a lot harder to breathe? Coronavirus. Like, I think some people might be missing the point of the mask. It's not about conforming, it's about safety. Can you imagine if people brought this attitude to sex? Don't worry, babe, of course I used a condom. Yeah, I just ripped the top off because it was really uncomfortable for my penis and it made it look like it was robbing a bank. But we're good, we're totally safe. Now. Another reason people might not be wearing a mask is maybe they just don't have one. But remember, it doesn't have to be an actual medical mask right now to be effective, right? Anything that covers your nose and mouth can help. Although I will say, one guy in San Diego got a little too creative with his coverage. Outrage is growing over a man seen wearing a Ku Klux Klan hood inside of a Vons grocery store near San Diego. Other shoppers took pictures of the man seen Saturday in the city of Santee. Store clerks reportedly asked the man to remove the hood or leave. He finally took it off while he was in line, then paid for his items and left. Santee's mayor and others have condemned the incident. Detectives from the San Diego County Sheriff's Department are now investigating and will pursue any appropriate charges. Wow, wearing a clan hood as a face mask. That seems counterproductive. Cause I mean, you might be protecting yourself from Corona, but you're definitely gonna get a case of ass whipping. And I know this guy thought he was being intimidating wearing a KKK mask in public, but I'm sorry, man, you're in a grocery store. I can't be scared of anyone buying go -Gurts. Plus, I like how he only wore the hood, yeah. So he was at home like, should I put the robe on as well? No, 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 no. I'm a moderate Klansman.